moved on to Virginia Park in 1965. And so we had just been in that location about two years before the riot uh, broke out. From Claremont to Virginia Park, we would, we, I would say we were just about in the center of it. We didn't realize at first what we were going through because we were still in awe about what was actually happening, you know. I mean, with all this fire and houses burning down right before your eyes, it was much later when you began to realize that uh, a change had came. At that time, my family and I were living on Virginia Park, right at 12th Street, and that's uh, located between Claremont, where it began, and West Grand Boulevard. We were right there in the middle of it when it happened. We was right there in the center. And that was a day I won't forget. It happened on a Sunday, to be exact, uh, July 23rd. And I remember that. I never will forget that. Right in the middle of 12th Street at my intersection in Virginia Park, I saw this big truck. I thought at first it was the uh, National Guard, but I understand it was the police dispatch was there a truck loaded with uh, police officers. I'm still wondering, well, what is going on? The talks started coming and people were talking and, and we were wondering, still not quite sure what was going on. But then by the afternoon, I'd say around three o'clock, four o'clock, it was really, it was very uh, exciting, you might say, because I'm, I'm just wondering what happened, you know. Uh, people began to move around, talk was going on, and then you see more and more police officers and after that, it just went wow. By now, we began to see these fires coming from everywhere. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Now we're seeing things come together. The fires began to really grow, and they were getting bigger and bigger, and buildings was catching a fire, and they were burning. And so we were kind of surrounded by fire. And then the people start coming in, they were throwing stones and rocks at the, at the firemen. And they were throwing, and they wouldn't let them put the fire out. So they dropped them and left them. And I remember seeing the uh, fire hoses laying on the ground, cut up and burning up. I said, oh boy, this is something. I don't know what we're gonna do. And when that fire got right behind my house, it was very hot and the flames was just leaping and they turned toward my house and caught our garage and burnt that up. And I said, it's time to go. Near us was the street was uh, Euclid. And we saw three houses burned down there. I just couldn't grasp that we were in, a, in the middle of a riot and people screaming and hollering and carrying on. I, I just didn't understand what that was all about. Uh, this went on for about five days. After the riot was pretty much the same, we just had to deal with cleaning up behind you know, all the debris and what have you. That was after everything really quieted down. And when the National Guards came in, they took over and they gave us curfew. We had to be inside at a certain time of day. I think you can move forward, but you have to have a change of heart and change of attitude. You have to let it go and move on. And you have to have a hope. You're gonna have good times, you're gonna have bad times. There's a song that says, but when I count my good times, they outweigh my bad times, so I go with that. I think, as far as I'm concerned in Detroit, we're going to be all right.